All right, what's up everybody? I'm gonna do a little part two here on changing out drum heads on my studio kit here. Um, starting out with the toms, I've got a 12, 13, and 16 inch tom that I'm changing both top and bottom uh, batter and resonant heads on. This is the 12 inch tom. Uh, the other two toms are done the exact same way that I'm gonna do this one. So. Um, just like before, I went ahead and I took off uh, the ring on the top of this drum, uh, kind of wiped that bearing edge, and I've seated my new uh, drum head uh, batter side. Uh, this is a Remo pinstripe, uh, clear, seven-ply, um, mylar film, uh, pretty, pretty tough. They, I've used them for a long time. They work really good. Uh, these new ones that I got kind of have an etched look around the outside. So I think that looks pretty cool. Never seen them done like that before. But again, I like to have the Remo uh, logo at the top. Just to kind of make it look more uniform or whatnot. I'll go ahead and kind of get it seated where it needs to go. And then we're going to take the rim. We're going to set that. Make sure it's going all the way around and just kind of maybe get your lugs set and get, get them started. Maybe just a thread or two. Just a couple threads, just kind of get it going. Now what I kind of like to do is just kind of put some pressure on that rim. Sort of start to break down the glue on that new head. Kind of go all the way around. And then just by, like before with the snare, I'm going to start on one side and the one directly across and just go down finger tight. All the way around, just so that is touching the top of the rim just so you can't turn it with your fingers anymore. And we're gonna go all the way around. I have this setting on a snare stand. I like, uh, totally need like a bench or something that I can do this where I'm not sitting. And Sometimes when you're on the fly and you're playing a gig and you break a, a head or something, you know, it happens. Um, sometimes you got to do this quick. So, all right, we're at about finger tight there. It's going to sound kind of dead for two reasons. It's still pretty loose. Um, and the resonant head's already been removed from this drum too. So... We're not getting any fallout right now. It's pretty much just straight through dead air. Vibrating because it's real loose, but uh, getting a little tone already where we're at. All right, so from there, I'm gonna take my drum key and I'm gonna start out with just one full turn on each lug. And I'm gonna do the star pattern. So I'm starting at the top left kind of here uh, from my angle. Um, I'm gonna go one full turn right there. And I'm gonna go across and do the same thing. And you can hear that glue cracking. I'm gonna go to the right of that one or my left. One full turn straight across. One full turn. That. One full turn. Crossed. One turn. And now we're back to where we started. So now I'm getting some pretty good tone out of that. Um, I also have a 10 inch tom on my kit, so when I tune my drums, I'm tuning starting at that one, and then I obviously work my way down. Um, so I'm going to leave this one where it is for now because that sounds pretty close to where I'm going to want it, um, you know, in my 
lineup of times, if you will. But that sounds pretty good. So anyway, anyway I'm going to leave that one there for now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip the drum over. I've already taken off the uh, resonant head and um, kind of cleaned it up a little bit, made sure there wasn't nothing inside of it because, you know, if you get specks of dust or, um, you know, pieces of wood chips or anything that gets in, you know, kind of caught around the, the ring there and fall in there, it will change the sound if it's sitting on that resonant head on the bottom. And not only that, it just looks ugly when you look down through the drums, you don't want to see stuff in there. So, um, so what I'm going to do now is I've got, uh, my five ply Remo ambassador, uh, resonant head. This is thicker than the snare resonant head you know, quite a bit. Um, it's actually only two millimeters difference, but uh, it, you can definitely feel the difference. Um, this one here, you want to tune to be just the same as the top one is, or I like mine just maybe a half a turn uh, higher on the resonant head just to help dampen things a little bit. But I still want to make sure to get that vibration because I want that, you know, that fallout, that sustain of the tone, boom, you know, stretch it out a little bit. Um, and this is the head that affects that sound. Um, that's what it does. Basically, like I explained in uh, the snare video that I just did, um, when you hit that, you know, that uh, batter side, it's going to send the vibration in a spiral pattern around the inside of the drum, and then it's going to vibrate that bottom head. And when that sound, you know, goes through it, ooh, it stretches out a little bit. So this is the head that, you know, if you want your drums to sound, you know, more open, or if you want them to sound more dead, this is the head that you want to tune, um, to, you know, bring it up higher or lower, depending on what you want. I like mine to be right about the same. I like that sustain, but maybe just a little bit of dampening to kind of take any ringing or anything out. Um, that's kind of where I set mine. So I go about a half a turn higher than what I do the top side. Other than that, that's really all there is to uh, to changing out these, you know, these heads on, on the toms here. So again, gonna just throw the ring on, and get it lined up, get a couple threads started on each lug. started we'll give it a little pressure and then I'm gonna start going finger tight on all of them just like the other side some deep shells so they got some long lugs on them. All right so now finger tight I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little pressure again. Help straighten things out a little bit. Just like before, I'm going to go one full turn. One full turn. One full turn. One full turn.
Just enough to get the wrinkles to go away. That sounds pretty good. So now I'm going to flip the drum back over and I'm going to start to actually give this a little fine tune. And what you do, just like in the snare video, you want to start tapping right where your lugs are, starting with the batter side to the next one. Hear any differences like that one's a little bit lower I'm gonna give that about a quarter turn right there now that sounds met back up to pitch you know on the next one sounds pretty good that one sounds a little low give that about a quarter turn much better all right so that sounds pretty good leave it there. Now if I want to go any deader sounding on that I could tighten up that resonant head a little bit more. You just don't want to tighten it too much because it can choke out the sound. You hear that nice sustain. That's what I like so I'm gonna leave this one right here and see what uh, you know how it goes with the rest of the kit. I'm gonna do all the rest of them the same way and uh, that's how you change your um, you know your your heads on your toms, um, you know, not too hard. It's uh, just kind of time consuming. So again, thanks for walking, watching. Have a good one, everybody.